What's up guys? Today we're going to be fixing uh, my old Dodge Ram headlights. I'm going to show you how to replace the assembly and the bulb. Um, obviously she's seen some better days after someone backed into me, so don't mind everything else and the random bits of cactus, but um, I'm just going to be doing a quick rundown today. Got these new ones from TRQ, um, about 150 bucks. Um, they look great. Obviously they're going to stand out a lot with all the mud, so I might take it for a wash before I give you guys the final result, but um, that other side is destroyed, so we're going to start on this side. So the whole headlight assembly is only held in by uh, three bolts, one here, one here, one up top. So a lot of people will remove the bumper. I'm going to see if I can get this bottom one off without removing the bumper, but it's there, there, and that one right there. You can also just rip this off. So I'm actually getting clearance, just shoving my hand back there behind the bumper, and then you can kind of bring it out by hand. And then you just pop it out, it's going to be a little bit of resistance. Um, and then you can start taking out your turn signal bulb. I did have to loosen up the bumper valence, or bumper guard, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a little bit irritating to do it with one hand, I'm just going to wiggle it out. I also went in the back and undid um, my low beam, the high beam, for whatever reason, was already disconnected. So they do um, come with new bulbs. At this point, if you were just swapping the bulbs, you can kind of pull it out halfway and do whichever one you need. Um, TRQ sends you new bulbs, both high beam and low beam with it, which is awesome. I'm going to keep this as an extra, but I have the Sylvania Silver Stars in, so I'm going to leave those just swap them over well I got it all together it definitely took some fighting um, to get these two in because they didn't line up a hundred percent um and then you can just put these little things back on Actually, I would take that off first um, and then we can do the other side Okay, so this really only applies, I have the 98 Sport, which was a really weird year because they had um, the dual beam headlights with it, but technically, I guess it wasn't supposed to. I don't know if this was just a late model 98 thing, but I had to order these for a 99, which probably explains why some stuff is a little bit off and I had to tear up my hand and get back there. But um, the stock bulbs that mine came with were a um, two 9004s. So here are the silver stars I had, my nice bulbs. Um, and I go to put them in, they don't work. Because um, for whatever reason, TRQ made it so that this is a, one is a 9007. Um, so if you go, I've already broken this one off. But if you break one of the tabs off, the, the far one, the one far one, you can fit the 9004 bulb. Um, and then you do also have to take it. So if you take one of the... Caps. This one. So you can see it's got these three little things that actually, this is what actually goes in there and screws. Um, if you have a 9004 bulb in there, like I have to do, see, fits in perfect. Only two out of the three little uh, teeth is going to go. The other one is stuck up here, so you can't actually tighten it down. So I just took a piece of plier, or a piece of plier, some pliers, and just cut one of them off, um, pulled one of them off, and then it goes all on, um, and it'll work like normal. If you try and run um, the 9007 in here, it's going to keep the um, high beam circuit on, um, so it's just going to act up, and your high beam light on your dash is always going to be on, so this is all learning for me, um, so hopefully... This is semi-informational. The headlights for this truck have been a pain. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Don't get a sport.